I've been getting a lot of questions about this big black beetle. This is a native beetle called a blister beetle. And they get their name because they've reduced a toxin, cantharinin, which can cause blisters on the skin. And that's why I'm wearing rubber gloves with him. Uh, but what most gardeners are concerned about is the damage they produce in the garden. They can strip a plant of its leaves if we found uh, in our square foot garden, we've completely lost our broccoli plant. Um, we've found a lot of them on our chard, but they feed on many different plants. Uh, they have a preference for legumes, um, but they'll also feed on some ornamentals. Now before you get ready to kill off the beetles, uh, you might consider that the larvae are predaceous and they feed on grasshopper eggs, another big problem for us. Uh, but I suppose that's not enough to convince most gardeners to leave them be, as they can be a rather problem. So let's look at a few little management strategies. One thing you can do is just knock the beetles off of the foliage into a bucket or a small cup of soapy water. You just knock them off into there. Uh, they tend to be somewhat gregarious, so you find a lot of them on a single leaf. You can knock them off readily. Uh, but one of their defense mechanisms is to fall to the ground when they're disturbed. So you're going to have to come in and pick a few up off the ground, so you want to make sure that you wear your gloves for that. Now, if you're not into picking them up off the ground, there is a chemical option. Uh, we looked at spinosad earlier this season. That's a biological insecticide, and that works fairly well on our blister beetles. It also has to be ingested for it to work, so it doesn't have a very large effect on our beneficial insects. So this is the blister beetle, a common late season pest in the garden.